Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Aperi Time and today we're gonna talk about Hinaran. Guys, today we're gonna speak about Hinaram. So Hinaram is South American ram, been in a bourbon barrel for 12 months and take me two years for take this project up and running. As soon as I arrived to my distillery, it's been redistilled with my own recipe and left in a marrow barrel for another two months. Let's talk about the details of this wonderful rum. And today with me, I have another special guest. Jack, come over, man. All right, how are you doing? I'm good, man. Guys, Jack is the bar manager from Bonneton Barry Lit, Edinburgh. And yeah, today together, we're gonna taste Hina rum and make some special cocktail for you. Okay, Jack, let's have a taste and let me know what you think, man. Cheers. Cheers, man. So firstly, on both the palate and the nose, it is incredibly well-rounded, but has such depth. Thank you, it. man. Especially on the nose, you get a hit of banana and you get a almost bitterness of coffee and dark chocolate. Yep. Uh, similar on the palate, but with a bit more spice as well, I find. Yeah, you got, you got like uh, the profile of this rum. And actually when they have to the distillery, we redistill with the old recipe. And one of the key ingredients is dried banana, which they give you the sweetness. So it is so well rounded and you do get the banana, but the sweetness is counteracted by, I assume, the other botanicals when you're redistilling it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You have also like a chocolate, a cinnamon, you have lots of spice and herbs. Are there any particular cocktails you would recommend? Well, I, I will go with something a little bit special today. Today I'm gonna make for you guys a uh, twisted on uh, Dark and Stormy with my own recipe, guys. Okay, guys, let's make my version of a Dark and Stormy. Let's see first what we need. We need, of course, Hinaram, spiced ginger ale from Fever Tree, spiced syrup, fresh lime juice. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna shake first the rum, the syrup and the fresh lime with the first ingredient, Hina Ram, 50 milliliters. 25 milliliters of spiced syrup. And 25 milliliters of fresh lime juice. The spiced orange ginger ale in the end. Let's give a nice shake. I'm gonna use highball glass. garnish with a slice of orange. Enjoy, guys. Okay, Jack, come over. Have a taste, man. Voila. Let me know what you think, man. Thank you. That's wonderful. That's for a rum that is so warm and has such depth and generally winter spice richness. To get that in the drink that is so light and almost summery in flavor, it's incredible. So that's why I want to show this type of a cocktail, because with this rum, it's super versatile. You can create everything you like. I could easily sit and imagine, picture myself drinking that in a beer garden on a hot summer's day. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yes, absolutely. And I'm going to go something a bit shorter, a bit stronger, boozier, and emphasize the flavors that the prominent flavors in the rum nice and go down a banana old-fashioned oh sounds really good guys with yeah. some coffee and some chocolate bitters in it as well nice man sounds good yeah let's go thank you thank you for Rizio. so as i said earlier i'm going to make a banana old-fashioned so we're going to have the star of the show obviously hina rum then we've got homemade chocolate bitters and then in here we have homemade banana syrup that i've also infused with some coffee beans as well just to get a wee bit of that natural bitterness from the oils on the outside of them. First of all, this is going to be a stirred drink. So you get your mixing glass and you start off with 50 milliliters of Hina rum. Right, two dashes of your homemade chocolate bitters. 
this just emphasizes the natural dark chocolate notes that, you, that are very prominent in the rum at the back of the throat. And then your final ingredient is just 10 mils of your coffee infused banana syrup. Very easy to make. Fill that up with ice. And then we're gonna give that a good stir. As, as opposed to dilution and creating a silky texture when you emulsify all the ingredients together. Go slightly frosted and you can feel it. Your glass pre-prepared, obviously, with ice. And then in over the top, holding back all the ice and finish it off with just by just expressing an orange peel over the top. And there you have one banana old fashioned and that will be your special at the Bonington Leafs in March for about two weeks. So Fabrizio, if you want to come over and give that a wee taste. Low one of the fashion, man. So nice. On the nose, you feel the banana, the chocolate. Nice, light, golden color. Oh, it's delicious, guys. Oh, it's, it's, it's amazing. So you have the nice flavor come up from the rum, the smoothness from the, the syrup with the banana, and then you, you feel on the back of your, your trees like the coffee, which I love the coffee, man. Um, it's, it's actually like delicious. I, I love an old fashioned, and as well as making it for work, that is the kind of drink I would make for myself in my flat, no, because- it's, it's wonderful. It is, it, le it lets the rum shine and that's really what you want to do with a product that is this good. Like you don't want to... You have to taste it guys. You don't want to overpower it. it. It's really, really easy to make as you see. And yeah. it's delicious. It's fantastic cocktail. And yeah, man, yeah. it's brilliant, man. Cheers, thank Watch you. It. Thanks for watching this other video. And if you are in Edinburgh, go and visit Bonnington Bar in Lit. Give us a visit. Uh, you can hit us up on our Instagram at the Bonnington Leaf that has all our opening hours on it. Nice. And we'll give you any update. Forward. Nice, nice. Nice to have you, man. Yeah. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Cheers, guys. Love the run. See you next time. Cheers.